Happy Halloween, everybody. Thought I'd do a quick little video to show you the dolls from my collection that I dressed up for the holiday. Not all of them are Halloween outfits. Some of them are just wearing orange, but I thought they looked good together. I've been collecting dolls for 25 years, but believe it or not, this is the first time I've ever dressed a group of dolls to display for an occasion. Why have I not done this before? No idea, but I'll be doing it more in the future. This is a Madame Alexander 18-inch play doll. Not sure if she has a name. I got her just the other night at an auction in a box lot with some other dolls that were in rough shape. Although I mostly collect just vintage dolls, I wanted another 18-inch doll to go along with my magic attic Keisha. I got her a cool Halloween outfit made by my friend Mary Ann. It's got skull print fabric. The skirt is the same fabric with a layer of tulle over that. She also has a little trick-or-treat bag. Getting this outfit was what inspired me to do the display. This is a Sasha Blue Gingham made by Trendon in the 70s. I won her cute dress in the raffle at a Sasha luncheon I went to last year. This is a vintage Tressie doll by Ideal from the early 1970s. She's one of the grow hair dolls and she's wearing her friend Chrissy's original orange dress. I got the black shoes on eBay to match her hair. This is an ideal Tony doll from the 1950s. I think this dress was also made by Mary Ann. Her hair is pretty messy. Most of my dolls have messy hair. I'm no good at styling it. I should only be allowed to collect dolls with molded hair. Here's an Edith Flack Ackley cloth doll. I was told she lost her yarn hair in a fight with a dog some years ago. I meant to give her new hair, but have never gotten around to it. I gave her this orange knit hat to keep her head warm. Her dress has pretty fall colors. She has a padded bust line and is entirely hand-stitched, so she may have been made by Mrs. Ackley herself. You might remember this doll from an earlier video. She's Miss Orient from the Children of All Nations United series by Unita from the 1960s. She has the Wendy Ward or Miss Debutante head mold with sleep eyes, but she has a regular fashion doll type body. Her orange and black kimono coordinates nicely with the Halloween dolls. This is the reproduction Silken Flame Barbie doll from 1997. I originally made the witch outfit to dress an ideal bewitched Samantha doll, but I ended up selling that doll and made another one for Barbie. The cape attaches to the bodice of the dress with hooks and eyes so she can have two different looks. I just took her out of the plastic bag she's been wrapped up in for years, so the flounce at the hem is a little squished. I resisted collecting teddy bears for a long time, but now I seem to be accumulating them. This is a handmade vintage bear. Don't know who made her, but I like the fact that her orange dress matches her orange eyes. She's got a very cute face with a little bit of a snout. I love her. Here's one of the Hasbro Dolly Darlings from the mid-1960s. She's called Beth at the Supermarket and originally came with a little shopping cart and some miniature food items. Now here's a doll whose hair I can't mess up. This is an antique celluloid baby doll made by Viscaloid. She has a very pretty face and bent baby legs. Nothing to do with Halloween, but her dress coordinates with the others, and I get to enjoy her up close for a few days. This is Hoppy Vanderhair wearing her Bunny Bones Halloween costume. I love the hat that her long ears fit into. The skeleton printed on the costume supposedly glows in the dark. I should put her out in the sun for a few hours and see if it still works. She was made in the 90s by North American Bear Company. And here's her friend Muffy Vanderbear wearing her black cat costume. 
It's made of velveteen with embroidery to look like claws. There's a little elastic loop on one paw so she can hold her mask. Muffy and Hoppy both have little trick-or-treat bags. I don't know what I did with them, though. I also wanted to show you this cute Halloween costume made by my friend Phyllis for a Leanne doll. Unfortunately, I can't find Leanne. She's packed away somewhere. Are you dressing up your dolls for Halloween? If you are, make a video and post the link in the comments. I'd love to see them. If you'd like to be notified when I have new videos posted, click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon. Thanks for joining me today. Have a safe and happy holiday.